Missouri native Echo Lloyd is still missing. There is no such thing as a small bit of information on her disappearance or whereabouts. Stay tuned to the end for contact information and more about how you can actually help bring Echo home. Sometime between the afternoon of May 10, 2020, Mother's Day, and that evening, 47-year-old Echo Lloyd vanished literally without a trace. Her adult daughter, Kelsey Smith, spoke with her mom on the phone the night before Mother's Day, letting her know that she'd be dropping by in the afternoon the next day. At 3 p.m. on Mother's Day, of the strangest year of all our lives, 2020, Kelsey arrived at Echo's rural home in Edwards, Missouri. She had gifts for her mom. Echo's car wasn't in the driveway. That was strange. She had known that Kelsey was going to be there. Red flag number one of many more to come. When her mom didn't answer the door, Kelsey waited a bit. In this area, there was no corner store to run a quick errand, but maybe she was on her way back from town. After waiting around a while, she left her mom fresh flowers and a Mother's Day card on her back porch with a note that asked for Echo to give her a call so she knew she was okay. For the next five days, concern and worry built. Kelsey called her mom several times, but the calls all went to voicemail. She also texted and called Echo's neighbor, but to no avail. Something was very, very wrong. Six days after she last spoke to her mom, Kelsey's concern was too much for her to simply wait any longer. On May 15th, she went back to Echo's home around 10.30 a.m. At first, she was hopeful. Her mom's car was in the driveway. After knocking at the front door, once again, she didn't get a response. Kelsey's gut wasn't telling her good things. She went to the neighbor's house and banged on the door, hoping her mom was there. The neighbor claimed not to have seen Echo and that Echo had taken back the spare key she had given them. Desperate, Kelsey broke a window and gained access to Echo's house. Echo was nowhere to be seen. Kelsey looked everywhere. She knew her mom hadn't fallen or otherwise hurt herself. Her car was gone and now it was back, even locked. Upon closer inspection, the scene became more and more ominous. Kelsey found her mom's cigarettes and a lighter on her bedroom nightstand. Her purse, with her wallet inside, was on the floor containing Echo's ID and some cash. There were piles of trash around the house, including moldy food. This was not like her mom. Echo had OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. She would never leave her house like this. Oddly, the air conditioner was on full blast too more red flags. What wasn't there stood out to Kelsey. Missing were Echo's car keys, cell phone, regular medication, and her gun. Echo Michelle Lloyd was born on May 23, 1972, in Harrisonville, Missouri. She graduated from Pleasant Hill High School and lived most of her life in Pleasant Hill, Missouri. Echo is the mother of four children and the grandma to three grandchildren. Her family and friends 
always come first for her. According to those who know Echo best, she is a nature lover and she is very creative. She spent her time renovating her house and working on projects. After an amicable separation with her husband, Echo moved about an hour and 40 minutes away from Pleasant Hill to the rural community of Edwards in 2019. She bought a 10 acre property near the lake in Edwards. Echo lived by herself on Stag Drive and according to her daughter, Kelsey, she wasn't seeing anyone at the time. From her home, Echo had multiple access points to Lake of the Ozarks. One of the properties adjacent to Echo's 10 acres has 40 acres of land and another has 500 acres. There are roughly 12,600 acres of property that is privately owned and butts up against hers. There are no neighbors close enough to be able to see any goings on at Echo's house from theirs. No neighbors who could have helped if Echo had trouble going on. Kelsey also pointed out that while her mom is an outdoorsy person and has been all over her own land, there are miles and miles of land around her property to cover in case Echo had simply wandered off somewhere. Plus, there was the miles of water. Echo's family says that she had previously complained about a neighbor's possessive behavior. Of course, being a single woman, she wanted to be careful how she approached him about it. Her neighbor has denied any involvement in Echo's disappearance. His name has not been released publicly as of yet. Echo's daughter, Kelsey, had seen enough. She had to find her mother as soon as possible. She filed a missing persons report with the local Benton County Sheriff's Office. Considering the small community, it didn't take long for authorities to discover that Echo was seen by more than one person at a Dollar General store in Warsaw, Missouri about a 20 minute drive from Edwards on Mother's Day, May 10th. Kelsey had found a Walmart receipt in Echo's house that was dated May 10th as well. It had her signature on it. Authorities determined that Echo had returned home on the 10th after Kelsey had dropped by, locked and parked her car in her driveway. That's all they could know for sure. Echo's cell record, bank account, and social media has had no activity since that day she went to Dollar General in Walmart. The medication that was missing from her home has not been refilled by Echo. Echo's movements beyond that Mother's Day in 2020 remain unclear, and there is virtually no known evidence for authorities to follow up on. What they have surmised is that there was foul play in Echo Lloyd's disappearance, although her case is officially classified only as a missing person. If there is any criticism of the authorities in charge of this case, it's this. It reportedly took two weeks after Echo went missing for a forensics team to collect evidence at Echo's house. Two weeks. The house was not sealed, so important evidence such as DNA from dishes, silverware, toilet seat, etc. 
footprints, fingerprints, and more would have been severely compromised, if not wiped out completely. Echo's car was taken for a forensic examination, again, two weeks later. But by all accounts, it doesn't appear that anything happened in her car. The most important place for evidence was clearly her home, the place she was last known to be. There is no doubt that Echo Lloyd did not decide to leave her entire life, her kids, grandkids, and her property by her own free will. Echo's family is naturally desperate to find out what happened to her and hopefully bring her home. Echo Lloyd's mysterious disappearance is absolutely a true enigma. If you know anything, no matter how small, about the disappearance of Echo Lloyd, please contact someone on this list. We will put this contact information in this video's description, as well as links to some interviews with Echo's daughter, Kelsey, here on YouTube. These situations are very tough on family and friends. As time goes on and leads dry up, law enforcement naturally has to move on to other matters. While the case is still technically open, it would take some new information to create movement on this case. Echo's family is doing the best they can to keep trying to find her. They've got a website, Facebook page, and now they are trying to raise enough funds to hire the best private investigator they can find. This is where we can all help this family. It's difficult to do, but try and imagine if this situation was about you, a daughter, or a loved one. Since we are all probably removed from this, it would be nice if we can help Echo's family by donating something to their GoFundMe campaign. Anything you can contribute, even $5 would help. More than $5, I'm sure, would be very much appreciated by Echo's friends and family. The goals for their GoFundMe campaign is to raise funds for hiring a private investigator, making and distributing signs and posters, a reward for the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Echo's disappearance or for information that leads to Echo's location and return, legal fees, search fees, or anything else that comes up that will help in their search for Echo. The direct link to donate is in the description.